So the next day on a Sunday morning, I start walking around the city where I used to live, and Christians rented this place, and they were singing worship songs and dancing. Yeah. And I was like, wow, people are singing on Sunday morning. Who is like, what, what, what kind you of... you actually like the music. Yeah, what kind of party is this? Yeah. So I went in there, and they didn't ask me for a ticket. It was free music, and yeah. I loved it. People were dancing. I kept going there to take naps there. Eventually, this lady who was an usher... She kept com- seeing me coming in there. I didn't have clothes. You know, I have worn the same pants for years, and my butt cheeks for were hanging years. out. For years, wow. Yeah, so she was like, you know, why are you coming here by yourself? I was like, you know, I don't have anywhere to be. She's like, you know, I don't have so much. I don't have a place for you to sleep, but you can come and stay with us. So that was the first time I got off the street, st- started staying with that woman who went to church and kept going with her kids. And then eventually, um, God really continued to work in my heart. Like, over time, I would hear that God was operating and taking out the pain, taking out the anger, taking out all the, all the bloody images that I have seen. And, and I started smiling over the years, and God continued to put in peace and give me all these promises. And I started writing songs and stuff. So then eventually, I ended up winning a singing contest in Rwanda, uh, kind of like American Idol type version, <laughs> but for Rwanda. So wow. after that, I went on TV and yeah. started being on the radio. I went to have a meeting with the president of my country and started presenting other kids. And so, and Rwanda has become a very faith-friendly country. Yes, yes. Dramatically. I mean, in America, yes. we always talk about the separation of church and state. We don't know how that works. But, man, when we look at Rwanda, it's outrageous what has oh, happened yeah. over there. Well, we're going to a, 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 another break. We'll be right back. The website, folks, is EnriqueSifa.com. It's E-N-R-I-C-S-I-F-A. EnriqueSifa. E-N-R-I-C-S-I-F-A.com. We'll be right back with The Eric Metaxas Show. I've been there for some time. I don't care how steep the road looks like. But so now go on. So now go on. Oh, You're listening to the Eric Metaxas show, and I have no idea what that means, but I have the <laughs> songwriter Enrique Sifa with me. What are those lyrics that you're singing just there? Uh, this song is called The Evolution of a Lizard. The Evolution of a Lizard? Yes. All right, we'll stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, th- there's so much to talk to you about. We just got a couple of moments left, but I'm, I have the joy of speaking with uh, Enrique Sifa and his wife Whitney. Uh, they've come here from Portland. Oregon, uh, in your case, Enrique, by way of Rwanda. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, the two of you met in Portland, I guess, after you'd come to faith and your music mm-hmm. career took off. You somehow found yourself in Portland. How did that happen? Yeah, well, I came to America to go. I used to be in a kind of African boy band type. And uh-huh. we came on tours to, uh, we were partnering with this organization that I was helping other orphans. So we toured pretty much all over the Amer- America, raising support for the kids and and so I, kept, I we did a three-time tour, and then eventually I was in middle school, so doing middle school online. So eventually I was like, I want to go to a real school, to a real high school. So somehow um, I got offered to come to this really prestigious, nice high school in Oregon. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to come here. So yeah. that's kind of how it came Incredible. to Oregon. So, Incredible. Yeah. And so... And, of course, now you're here in New York because Louis Palau, the great evangelist, he was on this program a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he is doing something in New York tonight. Yes. As I was saying, I'm going to speak at Radio City Music Hall briefly, and then he's going to uh, – there's all kinds of music, Toby yes. Mack and uh, whoever else. But uh, uh, just a, a big deal. And so you're here. We've just got a couple of moments left. But your life is your music and your faith. And yes. uh, your story is 
absolutely unique. I mean, to hear you tell of these things and then to, to hear you about finding faith through music on a Sunday morning uh, in the midst of being a, basically a street person at age 11 and 12, mm. it's, it's unbelievable to me, mm. absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, God has been really good to me, and, um, and also it's really the love that I received from people because after to where I am now, I was not helped by my uh, relatives or anyone. It's just like people who don't know me and, and saw me and just felt like they are called to, to love me and invest in me. And so uh, it's already about God and so also about obedient people who just are willing to help others. So many negative things are said about the church, about Christians uh, in, in, in America. You, you, you hardly hear these stories, but there are innumerable, infinite stories of of people living out their faith in ways that are so beautiful and the woman that reached out to you and that church i mean these are the stories we need to be telling we need to encourage each other so i want to thank you for giving me an opportunity to uh give people a shot of hope Mm. in the midst of so much hopelessness you faced hopelessness that we can never dream about and you found hope and healing this is the big thing to me is to see to talk to you now and to see the healing people don't realize it's not just about finding faith but it's about finding the one who can heal us inside and out. And it's just absolutely wonderful. So, so Whitney and Enrique, thank you for being with us. I'll see you tonight at Radio City. I'll see yes. you in Times Square yes. uh, on <laughs> Friday. And uh, I'll see you in the Louis Palau universe. Uh, uh, folks, the website is EnriqueSifa.com. If you want to hear his music, you can follow him on Twitter. It's Enric Sifa, at Enric Sifa, E-N-R-I-C-S-I-F-A. This is the Eric Metaxas Show. We are at MetaxasTalk.com. It's been a joy to be with you. Keep listening. Tears of the sense for you of self-dignity.